Well, for me, I mean, I, I, when I tend to talk to people about open, I, I use the Libra and Gratis sort of qualifiers. So in terms of research being open access, I think that this is obviously important to researchers and not just to researchers, but people, um, public uh, members who are doing research. Um, it means that um, they can have access to high quality um, content. Now, if I can take myself as, a, as a, an example, um, I'm a National Teaching Fellow. I was recently at a symposium with other National Teaching Fellows. We're all still, ac we're all still active to some extent in education. Um, but if you are not um, tied to an institution anymore, you don't have access to institutional libraries. So you can see that for people like that, um, then access to open access educational resources is important. So that's the sort of Libra side of things. In terms of the gratis, I think this is very untested with open research, whereas we sort of have been getting our hands dirty with open educational research resources in terms of being able to remake them and remix them. I, I, I'm not convinced I've really seen it. Uh, only in terms of the release of open data um, have I seen this sort of happen in open research and I think it's important, it has the potential to become very important. I'm not sure how you resolve this issue about ownership and trust and um, if you've carefully worded a research journal article, um, whether you'll be happy with somebody taking that and reworking it.